primetime win. With that atmosphere, how much did that win mean to this team? Uh, it felt great to us. Uh, we needed that win because, you know, obviously we started out the season slow, but we know where we are as a team. And what is, what's a great better time to, to show it on Monday night against a, a great defense and a great offense as the 49ers. And we came out and we showed what we could do. These are our Minnesota Vikings! What did you think that told the rest of the league about you guys? It just showed that, you know, when we play, you know, complimentary football, offense, defense, you know, special teams, everybody's, you know, doing their job that we're a tough team to beat, you know. Obviously the main question we got Jets, you know, he's waiting out, you know, dealing with his injury, but, you know, that just shows without him, you know, we're dangerous and when he's here, we're, you know, everybody already saw what can happen when he's here, so. For sure. Looking deep over the middle, and it is, guess who? Justin Jefferson, the clutch play of the day. It was a little surreal having him in the room with you, being able to learn from one of the guys that's kind of setting the standard for this position. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, when I first got here, that was the first thing, you know, getting to play with Jets, you know, because I've been on some teams, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, you know, Cooper Cup, Odell Beckham, but, you know, being able to be with the Mr. 99, you know, the best in the league, and, you know, it's crazy to see the things that he do. Like in practice, the beast, to be able to see it with my own eyes is like, Man, it makes you want to step your game up. And it's like having him on the sidelines now that he's down, it's like, you know, just coming on the sideline, hearing him talk to you, like, man, good route, good release, uh, such and such, do this. It's like, yeah, I'm going to do that because you see him doing it on Sundays and he make big plays. So, you know, just having him in that room is, you know, it, it, helped, it boosts the whole room up. And having him on the sideline for the game during this time, what's that been like? Uh, it's great. He's still coaching. Like, you know, it, it sucks, man. You know, he, he's, he tells you, man, he wish he can be out there. And, you know, you know he wants to because he's a competitor, but, you know, he's still coaching us. He's living through us. You know, we go make a play, he celebrate with us still. And it's just like, man, everybody's out there playing for him right now. You know, we'll hold it down for two more games till we get back. You know, we can't wait till we get back. Coach McCardell, someone that I know your dad was a huge fan of. So what was it like to learn from one of the best that's ever done it? Uh, I, know, I remember when I first got here, my dad, you know, because he, he's a big football fan too, and he was like, man, you know that coach, he was a bad boy when, you know, he used to play. And I was, you know, I got here and I started learning from him, and I see why, because, you know, he, he shows us, you know, moves he's used to do back in his days. And, you know, me being a running back all my life, and I never really had, you know, a coach to teach me those things and you know, come here and to see him, you know, coach me, you know, and go out there on the field and do those things he's teaching me. Because after we keep running the ball, there's ball going over their head, all right? Let's go. Yeah, Kevin O'Connell describes you as fearless. Does that play help play into that at all, too? I mean, you have to. I've, my, since I came into the league being 5'8", you know, you know, not too many guys are, you know, 5'8 around a league that can, you know, last. And First down! The littlest guy on the field continues to come up big. You know, you got to find some way, some edge, you know, to stick around. And that's, you know, you got to be fearless going out there. So that's just something I try to take on every week. Have you been like that since you played, since uh, you started playing? Oh, uh, yeah. Since I was a little kid, when I first started, I had to tackle my older brother and my older cousin. You know, they're 31. I'm 28 now, so they're three, three years older than me. I've always had to play against them in the front yard. And my dad, you know, had me. As soon as I could put on pads, I was tackling my older brother, so I always had to be fearless. 